My name is Maurice Sui and I'm from Richmond and I'll be talking about the successes and challenges of IACT in our partnership between the Richmond Tier 3 South West London and St George's Trust and the local authority Public Mental Health Worker team. I'll be talking about successes and challenges that are organisational, routine about routine outcome measures, reporting on outcomes, increased access and participation, as well as evidence-based interventions and supporting partnerships. It's just going through the advantages and disadvantages of, um, success and challenges of these. I'm speaking quickly because not only am I anxious, I'm not so anxious, I'm a bit anxious, but the, I, I didn't know about this 20 slide limit, so I've got things a bit tight. About organisational successes, we have weekly implementers groups attended by both CAMs and primary mental health workers to promote joint working. We have local CYPI, a local CYPI steering group which meets regularly, bi-monthly, and includes NHS, local authority and voluntary organisations. We have an internal supervisors meeting for sharing, learning, using methods about everything that we've been hearing about today. Um, we have trainees who get regular individual and group supervision. Um, we, uh, we meet regular, we regularly attend meetings together, both the local authority team and ourselves. And despite technical issues, trainees have regularly produced video clips on training courses and used them um, in supervision. Trainees have received and given positive feedback regarding their experiences in training um, and supervision, of training and supervision. It's a regular feature of our agenda and our team meeting in, in both services. And we have many challenges. Before I go ahead, um, but we have had some of the challenges that we've experienced in the good times where the loss of the team manager shortly after she had started, after the project started, so we didn't have a, 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 a team, a, a, a manager on the leadership and management program. <coughs> this hindered leadership, um, dire our direction left gaps in the knowledge base. We had an interim manager um, up until last Friday, and we've had a, su a, a successive interim manager appointed who has decided not to take the job, and yet another interim manager who was due to come at the start of Monday decided not to take up the post. So we don't have a manager in our team. We've had staff illness, I've had to my collarbone, um, I was out for some time, and the local authority primary mental health team link also was on long-term sick leave, so there's a, we, we had senior clinicians having to fill gaps taking on clinical, managerial responsibilities, placing enormous pressure on them and, and the whole project. But we've kept it going and the primary mental health team link is now um, the lead and is, on the, is, is training as a CBT supervisor. This has helped continue, well we've, we've continued to have close relationship, a close relationship with the, the local authority team we work really well together now. Tier 2 and 3 are also undergoing separate massive service redesigns. I've mentioned ours, but they're also going through one. And uh, these are new organizational challenges, I didn't mention that. And the sing there's going to be a single point of access, supposedly, but this hasn't quite developed and we, we're not sure what direction it's going to take, given the, the huge flux um, there is apparently commitment to, um, to CYPI Act within our trusts reorganization where it's stated that it's central to the camp's transformation um, but lacks detail. When you look at the document, there's nothing really there that's convincing me. So I feel tremendously anxious and I'm worried about the, 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 the risk, the massive increased risk to our, our, our patients. Um, services are to lose highly trained professional replacing with cheaper, less highly trained staff. 
a clear structure for reporting the CUIPR transformation to senior management is still uncertain. Clinical leads have not been given dedicated time in our job plans. Routine outcome measures, just going back to the good old days when things were working well and we're doing well. We redesigned our paperwork. It's all in alignment with CIP, IAT, um, reg so change registration forms, letters, etc. And across both services, um, we all, we're collecting the same information and it's all been streamlined really well. Um, we've got clearly formulated clinical balance sheets which help us interpret um, the, 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 the figures to make them clinically meaningful so you're not just getting scores and not being able to relate, relate it to what it actually means clinically. Our pathways and processes have been developed and implemented internally which has improved our overall efficiency and we started think, to think about measures for specialist clinics. We're using the same upwards that um, we've had team days, that's a thing in the past for sure. Um, project support officer, with our project support officer has been doing a lot of training, which has been extremely helpful. But I feel I've been under trained because I've just been running around chasing my tail and haven't been able to take advantage of Claire's fantastic teaching. Um, Challenges include reminding staff to do what they're supposed to do. And I'm very forgetful, I know that. I know. Hands up. Um, primary mental health workers are mainly working in the community, so that adds an extra dimension of complexity. You have to be organized and have your stuff there. Not everybody is organized, but I know that one person sitting here is the most hyper-organized person I know, um, and never missing a trick. Um, we, uh, I've mentioned specialist clinics, sorry about the repetition. We also starting to get, we, well we have to get more further thought about how the ROMs can be used in BME and learning difficulty clients. Reporting on outcomes, we've made four successive, successful data submissions, relatively successful, with a lot of work from Claire. Um, we have, uh, we're in the process of developing an in, in-house database called Promise, which is turning out not to be so <laughs> Promise. And it's got lots of technical glitches. But we've got iPads, though they don't really work all that well yet. Um, and we have to get our time to data sorted a bit better. Promise can be, can be glitchy, the graph, it doesn't present information as graphs, so it's not, easy, it's not intuitively interpretable by our clients. And we've gone to an interim solution, so we're just putting data on to commit so we can reliably submit the data. And the primary mental health worker team is, is in the process of commissioning a, special, a specific service. In terms of access, so we have self-referrals, Primary mental health workers have self-referrals. Um, we've strengthened our relationship. We've had a further two members of the primary mental health team currently enter training. And we're liaising well with commissioners. It's unclear to what extent the referral that we have are actually representative of our local community. We don't have the means of checking that at the moment. Um, further work's needed before we can um, explore the unit or improve with regard to BME and many difficulty populations. And the trust transformation work, as I said, is creating absolute anxiety and, and havoc really with, 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 with everything. And we are very anxious about that. The primary mental health work team is also under review. With regard to participation as successes, um, within our choice and partnership approach, choice discussions regarding goals and interventions are going very well at an individual level. That's always been, oh, always been the case with that because it fits so well with our philosophy. <coughs> Almost there. Um, advi advisory group, male, chimp, 
um, art projects. We've done various, we've done lots of different things. Um, I'm aware that time is actually in, so I'm just whizzing through here. Um, challenges. Um, we've got an overall, we, we've met with Kathy Street to try and improve our participation work. We, there's a lack of an overall participation strategy. 